I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Willi and Heminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. Your son sent for me, Heming Yall. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Hey, uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. This men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stoneberg. Should any picked escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Willie. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorp. Trigvi and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my callous hands? You can have your glory, Vili. I'm here to support you and your father. Such humility. Where is the Eivor I once knew? Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! May they burn with flame unbridled! The pit chief hides behind his men like a cow. No doubt you will be well for the fight back. Look for him I must on be high ground. I will have his head for him in the yard. Believe the wound is again. Oh, 
Burns! stand in the tower. You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? 
You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Emiga? I thought you would come faster if it was Billy's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it, of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. I have known Billy since we were small. He's bold and courageous, and your warriors love the man. The nobles should choose him. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him. And talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. to get on the other side.
blocked from the other side. Billy. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's, remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Narstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Stonebur, was Trigvi not sent there by father to help? We must go. What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Thank you, 
some stranger. I thought this was my last day on it. There's anyone! Help us, please. Anyone out there! Thank you. Thank you. The other side there must be others. Please help them too. to safety! Please! Anyone! Save my family! They're in here! Save my wife, please! Leave me be! She has drawn her last breath. Where are you? Get over here! Leave your things! Get to Trickvi! You'll be safe with him! Billy! Where are you? Answer me! woman. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank thee, old father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. I thought I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Willy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. 
I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same ass stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doomfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Vili wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. Yeah, come on, Mr. Orstiff. <laughs> 